Hello there guys, how's it going? Back in the woods today, another video, and that's because it's Easter, so happy Easter everybody. I've got the fire going, and the uh, reason I'm out here today, play around a bit, and um, I'm going to try and bake a hot cross bun in my Dutch oven, which you probably saw me lug in <laughs> a little while ago. Um, I'm all prepped here, the fire's going, um, so I can get on with what I need to do uh, with the mixing. Well, this is my basic mix that I've done. It's not a lot because there's just me out here and it's just a small Dutch oven so I'm not going to be able to do whole batches of hot cross buns today. So I'm going to do one kind of double sized one is the plan. So this is just flour, sugar, salt, some yeast and some cinnamon basically. And then here I've got some butter. Also got an egg in here. And this is my milk which is what I'm going to get boiling up now. And now I'm going to melt the butter in it and mix it into the dough. So I'm just going to stick my little pot over here where it's warmish and add in the milk I need. That's that small amount of milk quickly up to temperature. I'm just going to add in the butter to melt into it. And then that will be added to our flour when it's cooled down a bit. Well, my butter and milk mixture has uh, cooled down a bit here. So I'm going to add that into here. I'm not going to go with all of it to begin. I'm going to hold a little back because I've used this recipe before and it was a, a little wet, as I remember. And I've beaten an egg here because I don't need the whole thing because I'm only doing a little bit. So I'm just going to add in a little bit if that's possible. bag until it comes together and then I'll turn it out and give it a knead. 
I've rolled my sleeves up, I'm going to put down some flour, get some on the old hands. I'm going to turn out my dough here, which is feeling a little sticky, so I'm glad I didn't add all of that liquid. Definitely a sticky dough. So I'm just going to knead that and add flour if I need it until that comes together. And I still have that liquid if it does dry out too much, but it feels pretty good actually. So I'm going to need this for five to ten minutes. Should do it. I've got my Dutch oven here. It's just hanging near the fire just to warm up. I do actually have a trivet in there with some foil on it and then some uh, greaseproof baking paper. Here is my dough, it's a nice brown colour, speckles from the cinnamon. It's been kneaded quite well, so I'm just going to pop that in there, keep that warm for possibly an hour. So while I'm waiting for that, I actually made some black pudding, apple and sausage, sausage rolls yesterday, and I had some mixed leftovers. I thought, well, that'd do for a patty for breakfast. bit of caramelization on it, that's like the apples and the black pudding, it's not burnt. And I had some of that egg left over as well, so why not add that into my breakfast while I'm waiting for my dough to prove. Well, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? That was a very nice sandwich indeed. <laughs> I filled a hole. Got out pretty early this morning, up at half five. Because I knew this was going to take a while. There's a couple of proofs on this, or three proofs on this dough, basically. So I knew I'd be out at least half the day doing this. Uh, but I can have a, a little chill now. A little chill, maybe do some camp tasks. I've not been up here in a little while. Still got to finish my saw horse. Which is difficult because there's not really any flat land here. <laughs> the only flat bit, which isn't even that flat, is uh, where the shelter is. So I'm going to get on with some of that, wait for this uh, dough to double in size, and uh, get back on with it. While I remember, the Kent Survival patches and stickers are now back in stock. So if you're one of the people that are asking because I run out, um, get over to kentsurvival.com and uh, get yourself a pair. Did put just a few coals on the top here just to uh, warm it up. Not enough to bake it. And we're definitely growing. So let's move on to stage two now. It's not quite double, but we've got another proof anyway. I've got some apple here. I don't need all of it. I'm just going to take the peel off.
We've got some uh, raisins, didn't have sultanas, my little apple bits, and some mixed peel there. And there is my nice dough. A little bit more flour. And what I need to do is knead in all this mixed fruit. Okay, so that's that. Ready to prove once more. Well, I was considering maybe making a couple of uh, hot cross buns, but looking at the dough and the size of the Dutch oven, I think it's best to do one big one with the risks that come with that. So I'm just going to build this fire up while that is proofing still. I'm not going to go for another proof because I'm not dividing the dough up. Um, so I need to build this up for some coals to go on top for a proper bake uh, and just for heat. So uh, it is still lit. I'm going to put some smaller stuff on. And some of this split down wood. And get that going again. I'm just going to move this back a bit so it doesn't get too hot and start baking. That is looking good. It's more of <laughs> more of a bigger loaf than it is a uh, hot cross bun. So I'm going to get it out, do one last thing with it, and uh, then bake. I'm now just going to mix up some uh, flour and water, and that is going to be the basis for our cross. I want it to be a bit of a paste. Just as I wait for an annoying aeroplane to go past, this is uh, pretty proved now, so I have to be quite delicate with it. And hopefully, I'm able to do a bit of a cross. I've put my flour paste mix in this little bag just to try and do some piping. We'll see how that goes. Now left handed. A bit thicker there, but that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to start heating up this Dutch oven, some coals on top, and over the heat here. Right, that's the oven preheated. Hopefully, this will work as a lifter. And in goes. Cross bun. Oh, 
Hoping it'll take about half hour, but we shall see. Well, the saw horse is pretty much done, ready to use. It's quite sturdy, but I might peg the joints rather than just have them lashed. And some of the uh, joints are going to have to be redone, retightened as well. Tiny bit of wobble there, but it'll do the job. And you can see too many aeroplanes. You can see how uneven the ground is there, though. have a little peek see how we're doing I think we're about 20 minutes in just over certainly getting there there's been 40 minutes last time I had a peek the top had browned so I took off the coals so let's see and that doesn't look too bad. So I think I'm going to take that off. Now while that's resting, cooling, I've got some, uh, I think it's apricot jam with me. It doesn't really matter too much. I'm just going to put some in my little pan. I still mean to do a video on. <laughs> now I'm just going to stick that by the fire. I'm going to let that melt down and that's going to be a glaze. Now with that glaze all loosened up Just stick it all on here. I have to pick a couple of bristles out of this. That's all we need to do. Okay, so here it is, moment of truth. See if it's actually baked all the way through properly. Oh, that is not bad. Not bad at all. Mmm. Oh, that is fluffy. Right, first up, lots of butter. I guess what I should do really is just do one half and take the rest home. I'll let the uh, heat just melt that down a little bit. And for me at least, it's not complete without some jam. I suppose it's quite a lot considering the size of it. Am I going to eat all this? Just so many aeroplanes about today. I'm guessing it's everyone coming back off Easter holidays or going on them. A bit weird Easter being so late this year. Well, taste test. Happy Easter. That is lovely. Mm. For me, I'd have a little more spice, maybe some nutmeg, all spice in there as well. But 
can't believe how well I did the bake on that. I was sure this was going to go wrong and not go out this video. <laughs> well, I think I might do a cup of tea to go with this. Well, I didn't even manage half, a fair amount left, so I'm going to take this home and uh, maybe let someone else enjoy it. Right, I think I need to pack up now. Well, that's just about it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, I certainly did. And uh, however you celebrate it, have a happy Easter. See you next week.